we've needed new interventions in mental health for a very long time. Uh, they tried psychedelics in the 60s, some, some, some poor performance there by a few rogue researchers, but we're back on track now. Um, we've managed to secure this very large grant to treat people with treatment resistant depression, which we're really excited to do. So when you talk about psychedelics, what, what substances, <laughs> what, what are we talking about? So there are a range of different substances. The one we're using in this study is psilocybin, which a lot of people know as magic mushrooms. There are others available, LSD, um, uh, MDMA, but this particular one, psilocybin. How many people are you going to be looking at? How do you do it? How long for? Yeah, really, really good questions. So we're 160 people. We're hoping to recruit across um, Melbourne, Brisbane and Hobart. Uh, what we do is we give the psychedelics during a session of psychotherapy and they have psychotherapy before and after the, the what we call the dosing session, so the day of the psychedelics. And one of the things that the psychedelics do is open up the brain to new experiences. So a lot of people who have had um, psychotherapy in the past, long courses of seeing psychologists, it hasn't really worked because their brain's stuck. It's stuck in the way that they were thinking. And so the psychedelics open it up and they're then more amenable to the psychotherapy. You mentioned uh, psychedelics and certainly if you mention magic mushrooms, you'll get resistance, right, from some quarters. Yes. We've seen that for decades now. Yes. What do you say to those, and often within uh, medical fields, who would be wary about walking Absolutely. down this path. Absolutely. And, and look, and I, I, I'm a sceptic, you know, I want to make sure that we do this properly in, in a scientifically controlled way. And so that helps the, the people out there that are a little bit worried. But the other thing to consider is these uh, interventions um, and these psychedelics have the same compounds in as all of our psychotropics. So they're serotonergic base, which is our antidepressants. So we're just using them in different formulations than we see, see in the standard pharmaceuticals. And if people are watching this morning, well, they are watching this morning. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, and if they're wondering how yes. can they become involved, how are you going to choose the people? So they need to contact us at Swinburne and there's a very um, a stringent um, uh, process that people have to go through. But in this particular case, we're looking for people with treatment resistant depression. So we are running further studies um, over the, the next few years where we'll be looking at body dysmorphia and anorexia. But this particular study is people that have had depression for a very long time and their treatment that they have engaged in hasn't worked for them. They've still got very high levels of depression. Mm. On the grand scheme of things, how big a deal is this? It's, ma it's massive. So they have run some big studies uh, internationally. There's a handful, two or three, but Australia really is putting itself out there at the forefront of this medication and of, of these trials to make sure that we do the right research to see whether it works.